Ariel Hawani at Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts, alongside the reigning defending UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier, who of course meets Volkan Ozdemir this Saturday live on pay-per-view. Daniel, you just squared off. What'd you say to him? I said, you know you screwed, right? Like, I mean, being in the spotlight has been fun for him, but it's over come Saturday night. It's no more games. Like, there's a different level to this game, and he's going to experience it on Saturday. Do you see anything when you look at him compared to some of your other opponents? Do you see fear? Do you see doubt? Do you see anything like that? I don't look for any of that stuff. I just look. I do these stare-offs because I have to. <laughs> if I didn't have to, I wouldn't. But I don't look for any of that stuff. But he seemed to be very conscious of his shoes ah. because I made fun of him one time about his shoes. He's like, you see my shoes? I go, are you wearing your heels today? Because last time he wore his tall shoes. He said, I'm taller than you anyway. Kind of childish, <laughs> but I'm taller than you anyway. Come on, Vulcan, you gotta do better. Was he wearing lifts this time? Yeah, he's wearing those same shoes. Yeah. You think he's doing that to get a, a mental yeah, edge? Likes to feel taller, you know. Yeah. Wants to seem like he's bigger, but everybody's bigger. It won't matter. I noticed you you covered up the the tooth. Heidi gave it to me. <laughs> she made me put in my false tooth. <laughs> Why? I don't know. PR reasons? I guess. I guess. Feel better with it? You feel more confident with it? I really don't care. Yeah. I guess. I guess we're doing that now. You know, it's like I guess we're doing that now. We're in, we're in our tooth. So, hi guys. <laughs> you look great. By the way, I noticed you were holding up your pants. The yeah, weight cut seems to be going well. Going Where are we at? Ten pounds. Ten, Ten pounds? pounds over. Yeah. It's Is great. that good for this point? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome, man. Tonight I'm gonna go to the gym, lose eight, nine pounds. I'll be very close tonight. Whenever I go to bed. Is this one of your easier ones? Thus easier far, in the sense that easier thus far in the sense that I haven't been really hurting. Like, I mean, I felt a lot of energy, which has been scary for me. I'm like telling Tyler, why do I have so much energy? Here comes Vulcan. Oh. He's looking at me. Oh. Don't, Vulcan. don't you look over here, Vulcan. You know what's gonna happen to you. You already know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. But you already know what's gonna happen. You know. Know what? I'm going to make the way. Yeah, I always look like it's not. Hey, you know what's going to happen, Vulcan. Walk away. Hey, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, Vulcan. Walk away. <laughs> He's telling you to come there. No. You're not going there. I'm not going over there. Are they writing checks today or waiting? Bye, Vulcan. All right, he's pissed off. Though. Volcant, right? That was the joke yesterday? Yeah, he's pissed off. Yeah, yeah. He's mad at you me. You think you're under his skin? Mm, I don't care. I'm just messing around. I'll you take care of my business on Saturday. Well, you look great. That Tyler Min, he's, uh, he's doing a good he job. works wonders. Of course. They all, everybody you always look, like, look like a zombie. Of course, I always look like this. I'm not, I don't weigh 205 pounds. I have to really cut weight to get here. So, of course, I look small. But it's fine. People loved your Ted Bundy joke yesterday. That was a pretty good. One. Proud of yourself with that one. That was a good one. You had, you had to leave one. on that note. Drop the mic. Do you feel like that came out this week to try to mess with you? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, even a lot of the times, as it's happened like that, where the news of him has kind of come out around the time that I'm about to compete, almost to kind of overshadow what's going on in the moment. Relevance, you know. There's they got to try to make sure that he's relevant to what's happening, and. The best time to do that is when I'm competing because we're so closely tied to each other. Last thing, uh, kudos on squashing the beef with those fake wrestlers. <laughs> it was getting a little crazy, right? It was getting a little crazy, and I kind of start. I, I reignited it. I'm sorry, it's but all good. it shows what kind of you know class guy you are. Thank you, Ariel. You asked the question, I answered it. The guy got mad. I was a little bit annoyed. You know, I had gotten up very early to go to New York City and then drop, flying back and. Then to see some that guy talking to me, I was kind of pissed off. I shouldn't have threatened him. And then look, wrestling fans are passionate, MMA fans are passionate. So it kind of just kept escalating, and it was time to, to knock it off. Yeah, but if, I mean, you would have. Let's be honest, you would have. Anybody. <laughs> right. Anybody can get it. <laughs> All right, so good luck with the weight cut. We'll see you, you tomorrow morning. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You see.